Rochef, 777 on the HRC. Hold on! Very lucky. I mean, he's gonna. He's been tagged, but that could have been messy. Also for Jeremy Van Warwick, who he had no other choice, really, did he? No. And you know what? It's unfortunate because the crash through this bottom right hander just before this left is where Frostheim went down, and it was Bobashev who hit him as he tried to pick himself up. And Van Warwick this time around hit Bobashev. So Bobashev on the receiving end couldn't be avoided. You know, it fell right in the front of uh, Van Warwick there. Just caught his thigh, top end of his hip thigh. I'm hoping he's nothing more than winded, but... You can see the time mark on his shirt. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look. He's OK, he's OK. He just he looks at here, yeah, he looks just over. over. He looks over his shoulder here, so say, look, no, no, no. Oh. And that is reminiscent of that right in the... Ooh, right in the back, right in the ribs. He was bent double there. Oh. Oh. When you see it, that's like... Brody's looking good, actually. Look at the body lamp. Oh, look at that bobber right. Good to see him picking himself up, but... I was going to say, when we saw the slow-mo of that, as he was losing the front and the back on the face, that jump reminiscent of Chad Reed when he had that uh, Superman yeah. uh, windows down moment a few years ago, a couple of years ago. The way the bike reacted, I think. I think it looked worse in slow motion than it was, you know, because yeah. I mean, Van Holbeek managed to get a bit of air. I mean, if he had hit him full on, it would have been scary.